Oh, John, congratulations Thank on you. making directing yes. one of the films of the year and oh. one of the most highly anticipated ones. I can't wait for everybody to watch it. Me too. How are you feeling? My heart is full. I'm so excited yes, for people good. to witness. We, we, it's been a secret for us this whole time, and mm -hmm. I can't wait for people to witness Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande in things that they think they know, but they have no idea to oh, experience it. My God, and they're amazing. Yes, Absolutely they're amazing. amazing. I couldn't think of better people to play the mains. Me too. But whenever I ask people about Wicked, I'm like, oh, have you watched Wicked like in the theatres? Mm -hmm. They're always like, yeah, I've watched it maybe like seven times or something. <laughs> more like that, just seven times. Like, people absolutely love it. That's yeah, true. So what was it about Wicked the play that you thought, yes, I need to turn this into a film. I need to adapt this. Yeah. I probably I was a, I was a huge fan. I mean, I saw mm -hmm. it before it went to Broadway, so I oh, saw wow, it when okay. I, with no context. And I remember being blown away. I was going to film school at the time, so I also thought like this is the most cinematic show I've ever witnessed. Mm -hmm. um, so when I got that call twenty something years later to do it, I mean, I had all sorts of ideas already. But um, but I do think every generation gets a moment to uh, kick the tires on the stories that they were told when they were growing up. Yes. And um, I love that Wicked did that in 2001, and that we get to take Wicked and do that again in, in 2024. Um, and with these actors who bring such a relevancy and an urgency to these stories of Elphaba and of Galinda at a time when we need it most. Mm -hmm. And I will never stop shouting that you're Elphaba and you're Galinda and the casting directors. Come on. Chef's kiss. Come on. Paul Taswell. Every button is designed. Everything yes. reflected a character and a moment. And, um, and, and, and so I've, I feel very lucky to be around these people. They did the most amazing job. Yes. I also heard that um, you tried to keep CGI to a minimal when it came to the film. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but something around planting nine million tulips? <laughs> nine million Is tulips. Is that correct? We absolutely planted that. We built Shiz University. Yeah. That, that was not CG water. We built a giant lake. We uh, made Munchkin Land. You could walk into any of those buildings. Emerald City, the train, the Insane. wizard's head actually moves. It's, yeah. It was pretty crazy. Why was it really important for you to kind of like keep yeah. this realism and like create yeah. all these things, build it instead of just using like CGI. Yeah. Well, by the way, the, the our, our visual effects department mm -hmm. was like build as much as you can. Okay. It helps us. Yeah. They're like usually when you start to do for CGI, they like they draw a line like well if you're not going to do that, then you don't have to do this. And and, and our and our visual effects department was like no no build as much. It helps okay. everything. So it was very much a collaborative effort, mm -hmm. um, and it was important because this relationship has to feel real. Their stakes have to feel real. We have to believe that they have a relationship with this land and this culture. And in order to do that, we had to world build what is this culture? What is Munchkins? What, ought, what does it mean for Emerald City? Shiz was built by animals or by the wizard? No, the wizard came later, so he puts his emblem on top, which is why we see it come down and you see the truth of what's happening. So we're digging at something that doesn't exist, but we have to actually make it exist. And that means building, and that mm. means creating and thinking about the histories of every place, even if it's not in the script, even if it's not ever said, that the audience, I think, feels that history within it. Oh, I absolutely love that. Yeah. And the budget must be budgeting. Oh, I don't okay. know. I, 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 don't, I don't worry about that <laughs> I part. Mean. I got people to, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, we, you know, we, we had to do what was, what was necessary. This is a once in a lifetime absolutely. opportunity, once in a generation, to go back to Oz and to build a movie with mm -hmm. all its cinematic scope and invite the whole world to come witness as kids, families, dates, whatever, to experience and feel empowered to have this generation make their mark. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, and you. Lorna Loft, who is Judy oh, yes. Garland's daughter, she left the most heartwarming I review know. of the film. She described it as epic, I know. Um, astounding, touching and honest. She also called you a genius director, <laughs> which is very nice. Yeah, that's but very nice. What did you right. think about all this feedback? That was very nice. I mean, she came up to me after the screening and uh, she introduced herself and gave me a big hug and she said, you know, my mother, mm. she would have loved this movie. Wow. That, that means the world. Exactly. We, we thought of her every day of making this movie. We thought of the people who built this, uh, Margaret Hamilton and Billy Burke and, mm. and all the, all, everybody, because it has such a handprint on our hearts. When she calls me a genius, that, I don't believe in genius, by the way. Okay. I believe in works of genius, that, that people can make something a genius thing because all these pieces have come together. And I believe I was destined to be at a moment when Ariana Grande exists in a form where she's She's blossoming, and Cynthia Revo is arriving mm -hmm. when people need to hear her voice and what she stands for and the power that's within her. And at a moment where Wicked is ready to rise and be introduced to millions of people beyond the, who know the show, and a moment of time where cinema needs this moment, where everybody comes and shares in a moment, puts their phone down, pays okay. money to see value in this who we think is the Wicked Witch, but it's really Elphaba. I think that, that, that that's, the, that's the genius, is this moment in time. Yeah, and I love that. Not a Wicked Witch, just a misunderstood witch. Like, just we a can misunderstood all relate, witch, we can yes. Relate. And by the way, Wicked isn't always bad. Maybe Wicked to somebody else is bad. Mm -hmm. But Wicked could also mean 
Yeah, she it's speaks up. It's just smart She's going to get in there. Yeah. yeah. And we need that. We need 100%. That. Also, you saying that you don't believe in um, genius, I think very modest of you, but I completely understand as well. Yes. What should we expect for part two? Well, I always say that if movie one is about choices, mm -hmm. then movie two is about the consequences. Oh, yeah. And we're, we, we always expect uh, fairy tales to end, in, and they lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm. But the consequences of that uh, are much deeper and much more complicated. What happens when you feel lonely with that choice? What happens when you think that that choice may not be the right choice? What happens when they say, oh, there's no place like home, mm -hmm. but your home is the place that doesn't even want you there? Why are you defending and trying to save this home if it doesn't even like you? These are the questions that we get to tackle. And when, does it, when are you brave enough to pop your own bubble mm -hmm. to actually face the things that you were too scared to face in movie one? These are all the questions that we do it, and the best is yet to come. These girls are fantastic in movie two. I love all these questions. John, yeah. honestly, it's been so amazing speaking to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It's also so deep as well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, oh, no, I got I, I'm it deep. Way crazy, laser-focused <laughs> in there, but we live with this for three years. Yeah. This is what we talked about every day with the girls, and, and we had to take it seriously to mm -hmm. a point because we knew the we knew the stakes yeah well we all love a happy ending but consequences consequences can't Here wait for part two thank go. you so yeah, much thank you, thank thank you. you.